they're talking on the phone, and Megan Fox is like lighting her tongue on fire. And I love that scene. So I'm that, 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 I saw hot. you post that gif. I've seen that gif a million times. And then she's times. just like, I, I am a god. Am god. <laughs> it's time to hack the movies with Tony and Crystal and Johanna. Hello, girls. Today we're talking about Jennifer's body. I think we're women. <laughs> hello, hello, women. Today we're talking about Jennifer's Wimics. body. <laughs> we are strong women. <laughs> we are strong, independent women over here. Listen, broads, I'm trying to talk about <laughs> Jennifer's body, a movie I've never seen. I'm really surprised. This movie came out. I don't think anyone cared about it. And I know it has since become a cult classic with like overly emotional white suburban girls. Who I grew spend up in the city. Calling... <laughs> Who spend too much time online. Are you calling new uh, <laughs> a super emotional woman? I was gonna say new was talking about it. I love this. I mean, yeah. he is very super emotional. He's a really uh, emotional. He cries. Yeah. So I, I remember like no one cared about this movie, and then I saw like online people were like acting like it was the greatest film ever made, and it's mostly. From what I saw, it was overly emotional uh, white girls who spend too much time on Tumblr and Twitter and cry about a lot of things. So I was expecting uh, to really cringe at this movie, and I thought it was okay. Okay. I watched it, and I'm like, oh, this is actually pretty okay. The problem when it first came out was the marketing was f absolutely terrible. Yeah, I have a note here. Ooh, uh, yes, it, you hated it before you saw it. The interview show. here is, uh, let me see. One of the marketing ideas was for Megan Fox to do live yep. chats with amateur porn sites. And the director was like, please do not mention that because Megan Fox will not do that. That was a weird idea. That is really, really weird. Yeah, no, the marketing sucked. It was just, hey, let's sexualize Megan Fox because, you know, she's the new hot thing. Yeah. And, it's and like, then it had nothing to do with the movie. Yeah. They well, were I mean, using her, her sexuality. As yeah, her sexuality plays into it. But they were oh, making yeah. it. But it's a different type yeah, of. Yeah, no, no, no. They made it seem like something very, very different. And, like, that's why I said, I'm like, all right, that looks like shit. I'm not going to see that. Uh, I'm already seeing her in terrible films like Transformers The Revenge Ugh. of the Fallen. Ugh. Uh, starring Newt Wallen. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so I guess we'll go into the backstory here. Uh, Diablo Cody wrote this. Remember, she wrote Juno and this and... Same year. Right? Yeah, but what is... What has she have done of note since then? Is she wrote a Charlie's she do something with like uh, it's Emma Watson's in the movie and they like rob rich people or something like that? Wasn't that a thing? I don't know if she did that one. She script doctored uh, Evil Dead, the remake, uh, because oh. the guys who wrote it weren't English, so they struggled having the character sound mm. more American. So she worked on the dialogue there, which is funny because Evil Dead is referenced in this film at one point, and now she's going to ruin the Powerpuff Girls. I so. love the fucking Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Not the new cartoon, but the lost. original. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the new yes, cartoon yes. where that creepy guy who worked on it inserted himself into the cartoon because he was in love with the cartoon. So weird. Yeah, so she's going to ruin that. That looks awful. Um, yeah, I don't really care about Diablo Cody. I saw Juno and I was like, this is whatever. Her dialogue is okay. Yeah. yeah. Her dialogue's okay. pretty cringe. Uh, and it's very cringe in this at It parts. was supposed to be. I know, but uh, we'll, we'll get into some of like the lingo on here. Uh, apparently. <laughs> <Shuddies>. <laughs> So apparently the I love it. I love it. Yeah. yeah. See, this is why a man can't be on here talking about Jennifer's body. Exactly. That's why this is an all female episode. And yeah. Tony. <laughs> You're wearing pink. The I was just gonna say women. that. Yes. I'm wearing Twerking the shirt, which heels. you can find at our shirt store. No one wants to buy that. Yeah, everyone wants to no buy. No one wants to no, buy that. People have bought this. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say it with the leggings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for mentioning the merch store, and also we got to mention HackTheMovies.com, where you can get the podcast feed for this show. Uh, yes, yeah, so apparently two people audi auditioned for Amanda Seyfried's rule. What's her name? Amanda Seyfried? We were just saying that. We don't know how to say her last name. Seyfried? 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 Well, I guess the character's name is Needy. Yeah, it's yes. Needy. Uh, Emma Stone auditioned, uh, or was considered, and I think that would have been pretty good. Her is Needy, I can see. Yeah. The other one. Brie Larson? 
can't see it. You no. can't see Brie Larson as needy? It, no. Why not? It just doesn't she's work. Too... Because she can't be nerdy and weak because she's so strong and brave and stunning. We're not clapping for Brie Larson? All right, anyway. Do you guys not like Brie Larson? I like Brie Larson. Okay. What's your favorite part in Captain Marvel? <laughs> when she got up with the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. my, my favorite part was the guy who plays the scroll. I thought he was pretty good. You know what, my, anyway. you know what my favorite part was? What? The end credits. <laughs> Um, apparently the title comes from a uh, band, The Hole. Is that what's her face is? Courtney Love's band. That alleged murderer, Courtney Love. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> no, I don't believe that conspiracy at all. I had friends in like grade school and stuff whose older drug addict brothers were really into yeah. Kurt Cobain. So they suddenly like Kurt Cobain because they wanted to be like their cooler, older drug addict brothers. And now they're like all in prison and stuff. Huh. Uh, but they fully believed the Courtney Love killed Kurt Cobain conspiracy. And then they also said, yeah, she got the same guy who killed Kennedy. And I'm like, OK, <laughs> so I'm like, all right, so let's let's back up here. Let's back up here. You think Courtney Love like because they were like, there's no way he could kill himself with a shotgun. I'm like, yes, there is. There's multiple ways you could do that. Uh, you think not only did she orchestrate the death of Kurt Cobain for reasons, she got the guy who killed Kennedy. So she knows the guy who killed Kennedy had access to that information, sought him out, paid him to kill Kurt Cobain and kept it silent. Somehow the FBI, the CIA, no idea. Well, they were probably in on it. Oh, yeah, take out <laughs> <Kurt> Cobain. <laughs> so anyway, the t- title comes from one of their songs. And uh, yeah, Blake Lively was almost Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> There's an interview that happened, I think it was like last year, because I think it was the anniversary of uh, mm. Jennifer's body. I think it was like the 10 year or something like that. I, I can't remember. Yeah. But uh, basically, like Diablo Cody and uh, freaking Megan Fox uh, both agreed that like no one else could have played Jennifer. No. It, it, like no one else could have done it well. Yeah, especially at that point in time, because that was she, when she was like at her highest. Mm. Yep. Um, she also know. lost 15 pounds for this role and was only yeah. 97 yeah. pounds. No. Ugh. But she looks great on camera. He doesn't, she doesn't yeah. look like a sickly, skinny thing. Yeah, it's weird. Camera always adds so much weight. Was this yeah. like the last, like, <laughs> what you, is this like the last big thing she did outside of a Transformers movie? Because I can't. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Ninja but Turtles. that was like after she went away for a while, after Spielberg fired her from Transformers. Uh, I haven't seen her in anything since. Uh, I know she was in that uh, Douchey Guys music video, which led her to cheat on her husband, and her husband went on a whole podcast and bitched about it. Wasn't that after? No, I think it was during. Oh, whatever. Good for her. Wow! Good for her. That was the father of her children. She threw it away for Machine Gun Kelly. Good for her. (laughs) She can fuck anyone in the world. (laughs) I'm sorry. What did this yeah. man do that she had to cheat? <laughs> yeah, but no. At this time, like Megan Fox was the thing. Yeah, she was the biggest thing in the world. She was the it girl. I think you said you wanted to get one of those stupid side tattoos because of her at the time. I used to. Okay, this is even before I came out. I had a poster of her behind my bed. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm like, no, I'm straight. <laughs> look, look, okay. look. That's that's pretty weird. I have a very normal bed with a giant picture of Bruce Willis's face. It's a headboard. Because it's a giant picture of Bruce Willis's head. Get it? <sighs> Have you seen it? Because it's actually really good. Really? Yeah. Yeah, everyone. It's from Die Hard 4. It's a picture of him with the Capitol building on fire. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> it's been my headboard since uh, like 2008. So let's talk about this movie. Let's get into it. So it's one of those movies that kind of flashes back, mm-hmm. but not really. All right. So we see Megan Fox is sick in bed and she looks all sad. Mm-hmm. And uh, she went on her hair. Her teeth are messed up. Her eyes are bloodshot. Yes. There's a random horse in the backyard. Yeah, they have a horse. <laughs> First of all, the horse would be sleeping in a stable. Uh, two, that doesn't look like a big enough backyard or like any type of place a horse should be. Well, one of the things with this movie is they don't really tell you anything about Jennifer's family or home life. So who knows? Maybe, maybe there's a reason that horse is just trotting about. I don't know. <laughs> Trotting is just there. Look, sometimes horses wander into places and oh my god, the horse is in the store again! I can't believe it. I keep leaving the door open because it's so nice out. I wanted to breeze. Get out, horse. We're talking about Jennifer's body. Whose horse is that? And how does it It might be Jennifer's. It might be Jennifer's body's horse. I thought that was Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh my god. Oh my god, my face and body hurts right now. <laughs> Jesus.
Jesus Christ. I'm usually the one who says the mean stuff on this show. Dude, I saw the opening. And I had to go for it. I'm, I'm on this show. I'm here with two ladies. I think this is going to be classy. And Johanna just starts. So fucking much. Sarah Jessica Parker. I'm sorry, but I'm taking you away from your boyfriend. I love you. <laughs> Do I really have a face like a horse? Then it cuts to Amanda oh. Needy. I'll call her her character name just because I can't say her last name. Yeah. Needy. Stupid name. Needy loves Nikki. Is it a, like a nickname? Mm-hmm. Okay. What is her real name? Uh, It's like... I don't remember them saying her real name. Oh my name. God. Her real name is a thing. Hold on. And there's a giant Fallout Boy poster right behind her bed. Yep. And I was oh, like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fallout Lots Boy. Of they were very popular at the time. They were. I love the soundtrack to this movie. This movie, like, so this movie came out, like, after I was in. Anita. Like, I was, Isn't. Anita? Okay. Oh. That makes sense. So this movie kind of nails a little bit like what high school college girls were doing at the time. I was time. in high school so, during this. Yeah, it came out in 2009. I was yeah. in high school. So we, and I was we like, graduated. Yes. We just graduated. 2007. Yeah. yeah. So like this was like right afterwards. So there's stuff that like really works and there's stuff that I don't think worked that well. Oh, but I I'm going to actually ask you guys if it worked that well because okay. I was not a girl in high school. It, I, it played to my freaking music taste <laughs> when I was, I was that punk emo girl yeah. but you, it didn't look like it but I was obsessed with the used and all oh. apple and <laughs> Death Cab for Cutie, and I was that person. I still am. <laughs> yeah, emo kidding? night. Oh, they have emo nights in I bars. <gasps> it's I, I went, literally um, uh, the Burberry, Barberry, whatever. It's downtown. I forget what it's called, but they have emo nights, and I went the one time, and it was just glorious. So anyway, <laughs> are you are you done down your trip down memory lane Not of yet. emo There's nights so at the bar? I know. <laughs> anyway, uh, we cut to Amanda's uh, needy in a mental hospital. And then a uh, kind of weird thing for me. I The movie decides the best way to introduce this character, this white woman, is to have her kick a person of color and spin on them. I thought that was a weird choice. Hashtag cancel Diablo Cody. Am I right? Okay. I thought you guys would be on. Apparently, you guys are a fan of that. Um, so they live in Devil's Kettle. Now it's flashing back even further. Which is actually a real place. It's actually a um, waterfall. Oh, I know the waterfall judge... is real. I don't know yeah, if the town in... is real. No, it's, it's, real. it's the town's not real, but it's actually the waterfall's real. I yeah. didn't realize that. And it's actually in a state park in Minnesota. Yeah. I was like, that's you... really cool. Yeah, you find out this waterfall has like a whirlpool at the end and no one knows where it empties out at. But mm -hmm. now they do. Yeah. Do they really? In real life, yes. Oh, I had yeah. no idea. Yeah, I forget where uh, like it actually like lets out or whatever, but yeah, I remember well, seeing no, it something says, about that. It, uh, it disappears into uh, some kind of glacier thing. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you just see frozen ice with like balls and stuff <laughs> inside of it. Everything that anyone's ever thrown down. So many beer cans. Yeah, so that's why it's called Devil's Kettle. But I, there's other reasons it's called that. Oh, I also like that the fact that they say, though, also in the beginning, it says hell is a teenage girl. Okay. <laughs> And it just made me think of that song, um, Teenagers by My Chemical Romance. Oh. That's all I kept Teenagers thinking. Teenagers scared. They love that song. So Needy and Jennifer talk like they're from Juno. <laughs> yeah. And they say shit like that. I don't remember girls talking like this in high school. Did I miss out? Do you guys talk like a pretentious girls were film writer? And bitches and crazy and mean. I didn't like them. They, but, they but, were really mean to me. But did they talk like this? Did you talk Not like this? Not like this, either. but there were people that were like the bubbly and said weird lingo type thing. It's like mean Did girls, our school have anything? Say, Fetch. Some people did. When I went to an all boys school, yeah. the, the code word for gay was sweet. What? Yeah, I thought it was very confusing. That's really weird. And people were like, hey man, you're sweet. And I'm like, you're calling me gay, but what you're saying sounds really gay. Do you not get that? Like, you're calling me sweet? Like, I don't understand. Boys are weird. Yeah. Boys have cuties. Oh, no. Our high school had jingles. Called, like, Loose Change was called Jingles, I think. What? It was weird. I don't know. It was something stupid. Uh, so I guess I'll give the movie a pass on that. <clears throat> Each high school has a weird way of saying things. Uh, Needy's boyfriend is from Scott Pilgrim. Who did he play? Young Neil. Young Neil. <laughs> right, right. Someone uses the word salty, and apparently it means beautiful. It doesn't. Salty is... It do that's I don't it... know if salty in 2009 meant Yeah, what did that? it mean in 2009? I don't know, but I know salty now is like, you salty, girl, you salty. I don't know if that's a great way to describe it, but. <laughs> when I think of salty now, I think of like video games yeah. and people getting like mad that they're yeah. bad at video games and or. they're salty. <laughs> yeah. So Needy, uh, this one I, d I can 
not relate to, but uh, Needy did remind me of girls in high school who were more of like like the dorky girl who had the hot friend. And like that was me. That was actually me in high school. I related to this fucking character yeah. so much. I didn't dress yeah. like Needy, but I had this beautiful friend. Yeah. She was five foot eleven, half Italian half Korean, and that's when I realized I also like female <laughs> because I was in love with her, but she was also my best, best friend. And yes, we did make out. <laughs> you do that. So it was so... I made out with my friends too. <laughs> that's what you did. I remember it was literally raining one day and me, her, and another friend all made out at the same time. And I was like, cool, this is life. This is awesome. So this is what we did in high school. So girls do this. I just but... watched like horror movies and yeah you didn't Tony yeah remember when your worst nightmare was the 40 year old virgin oh yeah I saw the 40 year old virgin when I was a virgin and I'm like oh my god that guy's house looks like my room <laughs> <laughs> I better I better fix this fast and then I did big mistake major <laughs> letdown <laughs> make tell guys anyway <laughs> Uh, but yeah, <laughs> but, but yes, I knew, that was the thing, though. Like, I girls knew girls who were like would get obsessed with another girl, not like sexually though. Like they don't think they wanted to date them, but like they, they wanted to be. They them. wanted to be them. That's a lot of things too. Like, or... uh, did you ever have like a girl in school who would start dressing like another girl, like yes. to a T, and yes. it was like, hey, what are you doing? It's a little, it's a little weird. Oh. I mean, like I said, I can't relate to that. I, I was like, I was like was, a really cool hot guy in high school and like everyone really loved me. So there were probably guys around me that wanted to be like that. Uh, so one time I was sitting on the bleachers and he was like just showing off something cause he was like down on the floor presenting whatever the hell it was. And I specifically remember someone sitting next to me saying, oh my God, I can't fucking stand that guy. And I'm like, <laughs> I will That's never forget. Amazing. I can show you the guy in the yearbook. <laughs> Specifically, I don't remember his name, but I'm, I remember his face. That's amazing. But I remember him just being like, oh my God, this asshole. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I wonder if it was the guy. Okay, so. He was in the popular clique. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, there was one guy. This is the weirdest thing. Well, this wasn't the weirdest thing that happened to me in high school, but we'll talk about <laughs> that another time. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 not that. The other no, one. No, I know the other thing, too. I okay, okay. So the weirdest stories. thing that happened to me in high school. <laughs> I have some shit. <laughs> the weirdest thing that happened to me in high school. There was like a girl in my class who I did not talk to. Like I just never talked to them. Da, 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 I'll tell you. I don't even know who they are. I don't even remember their name. So they must have looked at my MySpace page and saw that I had like like I funny pictures with my cat and like a Batman background or something. Oh, no. Their boyfriend must have seen that she was looking at my page or her and her friend, because then her other friend's boyfriend. <sighs> started DMing me about how much of a fucking loser and weirdo I was. And I was like, who is this? And then I like connected the dots and it got back to the one girl. Cause I remember the girl being like, I saw your MySpace. It was really funny. So I'm like, so this guy got jealous and his friend got jealous that these two girls were looking at my MySpace, two girls that I do not talk to. And they wanted to like fight me and stuff. And I messaged back. I'm like, I don't know who any of you are. <laughs> I'm like, what the? I don't, I don't what, what, I, Look, we have history together. I don't know anything. Else. To be fair, you were very handsome in high school. Oh, thank you. Aww. Thank you. And That's now, why I had him. And now, <laughs> well, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very handsome now. Yeah. Very handsome. And buff. I'm at least better You're... than, I'm better than Newt. Sure. You're just, y'all are just there. I, I'm in a loving, committed relationship. I can't be talking about this. Talked about making out with girls. Diablo <laughs> Cody has a character say the R word. Cancel Diablo Cody. Am I right? Wow, it's like every movie in the early 2000s yeah. and said that was, the R that word. That was wrong, yeah. and she should apologize. I'm just, I'm oh, very. <laughs> Jesus. Why are you like this? What happened in high school? Did it? Did yeah. it happen in high school? Did it happen after? Was he born this way? I think he was born this way. But there were some, uh, <laughs> some things that. <laughs> Could have like fucked him up. <laughs> yeah, there were. We'll get it. That's off camera. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, the boyfriend is like sad because Needy always wants to hang out with Jennifer. This part didn't ring true to me though. I feel like if a girl had a boyfriend, they wouldn't be as obsessed with the main girl as much. I feel like once you get a boyfriend, a girl like her would just like, I don't care about my friends. I need a boyfriend. Usually a girl becomes obsessed with her boyfriend. Yeah. But yeah. the fact that it was more of like Needy actually really did love Jennifer. Like she was yeah. into Jennifer too. It wasn't yeah, so just yeah. that I wanted to be, they were what, sandbox? 
Sandbox love never dies, is what they said. <laughs> and I'm also pretty sure they were both bi. Yeah, oh, a little bit. Like, um, they th- there's were. a lot of where I was just like, oh. They oh, both oh. were bi. They both hold each other's hands at some point. Like The, yeah. the beginning where she's like, they both what, love, and even the other girls. What's wrong like, with what's holding weird? hands? I, I hold, <laughs> I hold yeah. Newt's hand all the time. <laughs> Bet <so>. you do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they're going to a bar. They say they're going to a club, and the guy knows they're lying, and he's like, "Stop stealing my girlfriend." Uh, and they go to a oh, oh, oh and the line yeah. where uh, Jennifer goes in. Well, number one, she like senses when Jennifer's there. Yeah, there's yeah. like a weird it unspoken weird? Yeah. psychic yeah, even, thing. Even uh, the boyfriend was like, what? Uh, yeah. there. <laughs> also, the fact that she can't upstage her. This I actually is very, rings very real, where, oh, you had this hot friend and you can't, I mean, she, my friend in high school wasn't really like this, but no matter where she went, she had all the focus on her. Like I was just the shadow and she was the hot Hold girl. On. Our prom. We won't mention who they are because I think one of them's dead. Uh, but two girls came wearing the same dress. Ooh, don't know. That's there is now like pages where they well, go, okay, this is the dress I got. Don't take this dress. It was a coincidence. It was an accident. <clears throat> the one girl was like, oh, that's funny. We got the same dress. The other girl had a mental breakdown and cried the rest of the prom. Yep. You know what happened with my dress? What? I had it handmade. <laughs> So I didn't have to run into that problem. And guess what? My dress was great. Two hundred dollars. I, I remember. I beat you. Ten dollars at a yard sale. Oh, bitch's yeah. dress. <laughs> I I remember our prom. The girl like everyone else is like, it's fine. It happens. Relax. And she just would. She started Girls screaming at yeah. the other girl like, yeah. you you it's did this on it's purpose. Like, it's friends? like they're second to their wedding. I don't remember. Uh. We'll talk about it afterwards. Because I remember. The yeah. whole thing, but then I was also like, I'm gonna go have fun, screw yeah, people. It, it oh, happens, I it, and I can, I can see being annoyed and stuff, but like to jump to conclusions and think the person planned it like on purpose, that's a little weird. But that's my only experience with like, don't one up me. <laughs> Girls just do that. They some, no matter what, a lot of them still do. Like no matter yeah. how old you get, a lot of girls are, especially with. I've told you about the one person, and no matter what I did, they right. cut this. Cut this. <laughs> But so. yes, girls upstage each other, even on social media, Instagram, everything. Girls are always, this is actually what kills me is because we're kind of programmed that way a lot of the mm. times is to be competing against each other. And I hate that so much. It's not okay because we always feel as if we have to one up another girl or always be in competition. And it, it's not a competition. Like you do you, I do me. Like why is it an issue? But no. Girls like this, especially in high school, where it's like she says, "I um, I can show stomach, but I can't show tits. Tits are her thing." Yeah, that's a real thing that happens really? all the time. Really? Yes. My friends just dressed like assholes, <laughs> so I didn't experience any of that. Uh, but yeah, they go to a bar, uh, and Chris Pratt is trying to hit on Megan Fox. I was so happy when I saw Chris, and Pratt. she doesn't want any part of Chris Pratt because she already had him. Because she's yeah, she already had him, and she's into Adam Brody because she doesn't have enough foresight to see how popular Chris Pratt will be in the future. Ooh. And we mentioned Adam Brody a lot on the show because my sister was obsessed with Adam Brody. I like messaged her last night. I'm like, I've never seen this. I didn't know he was in. <laughs> yep. So their so, yeah, band the, is what's the band? Low, low shoulder. shoulder. <laughs> yeah, uh, and she's like talking to him. She's like, can I buy you a drink? By the way, they like got like a, how do they get into that bar? I guess they fake their ID. It, 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 it's an it's a, it's a all ages thing, whatever. It's just they couldn't drink. So that's why they did the black the, X yeah. in the beginning. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, and then she says like, uh, I'm going to get you a 9-11 tribute shooter. That was so weird. That was like very offensive. Hashtag cancel Diablo Cody. I still think it was funny when she goes to get the drink. Needy's like, how are you going to do that? She's like, I'm going to play Hello Titty. <laughs> yeah, she's talking I about like, you, you use your tits to get everything. Yeah. Uh, and she does. And she doesn't even drink the shot. I know. I was like, the wow, one's you just like, not even it. full. She's mm. like, ugh, the one's not even that full. And they don't even drink it. Yeah. Waste? And, uh. So Needy hears Adam Brody talking to his friend and Adam Brody's just like doing normal cool guy stuff. He's just talking like a cool guy does. I didn't see anything wrong with it, but it upsets Needy. Do you guys know why? What did he say that was wrong? Are you kidding me? I don't know. You sure she's and I grew up in a town like this. Okay. There's always that girl. They love to show it off, but they do not give it up. I'm telling you, she's a virgin. The girl's like, that's my best friend. You're an asshole. She is a virgin. Yeah. I love how Needy ends up telling Jennifer that's what they said. And she goes, 
I'm not even a back door virgin anymore. <laughs> Thanks to Roman. Chris and then Craig. she goes into more detail about oh. it. I'm like, all right, all right. Bag of frozen yeah. peas. Oh. oh, by the way, with the band Low Shoulder, though, yeah. do you know that, um, act- uh, what was it? Brody actually said that he would sing, and the director politely declined him. <laughs> <She's singing. laughs> so, a little fact there. So that's not actually them singing. So it's weird. They start singing the song. Through the trees. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. it's so annoying. Which, but it sounds like it, every. It's like made for yes. this movie, but it does sound like anything that came out at that time. So yeah, he starts singing, and like Megan Fox kind of goes into like a, a trance. Trance. And I thought it was for a different reason. I want to like circle back to it when we figure out like what the twist was because this part's kind of confusing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, agreed. I think I know what's happening now, but I need to it know. If still I'm the doesn't. Only one. But anyway, so they're singing and the the stage lights on fire, and then the whole bar within seconds just erupts into flames. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that. they set that all up. The band, the wiring, it, and stuff like that, because okay, it, okay. it doesn't it make sense otherwise. Yeah, because so, it catches pretty fast, and everyone freaking dies. People and trampling no one, over each other. But the other. thing is, like, no one is thinking to run to the exit. They're all like, this, ah! that's what happens. So there's actually this reminded me exactly what happened with. With the station fire. So there's, um, I actually had to watch this. I'm OSHA uh, 15, 15? OSHA? I'm OSHA trained and stuff like yeah. that. And they were, t- we were actually talking about it, about this giant fire at um, the state, uh, what is it called? I wrote it down. Uh, the station nightclub. So what happened Wait, is. Wait, where was of, that? I think I remember that. It's a, it was, I forget where it was at. And there's a lot of uh, pyrotechnics that weren't supposed to be on stage. It's you, uh, I am big when it comes to safety. Oh, yeah. I am huge when it comes to theatrical yeah. enter- entertainment safety. And I'm the type of person, whenever I go a place, I always know where the where the exits are. I'm no. that loser. When I go to clubs, my friends are like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm just making sure you know where the exits are. <laughs> when there's um, there was a whole bunch of pyrotechnics and this club, or it was more of a bar, they only... They blocked off all the windows and they made the exit or the entrance small. I think they only had one door able to be used because they don't want people sneaking in. Ugh, a lot yeah. of people to sneak in. Yeah. And they also told the bouncer, don't let anyone come through the stage door. Yeah. Uh, they blocked off all the uh, exits, this um, all the emergency exits, so no one knew what was happening. When the fire happened, no one actually realized what was happening. Oh. And that happens a lot. You're so into the music, you're drinking, you're drunk, yeah. you don't know what's happening. Most people, if you ever look where people died, it's mm. mainly a pile of uh, bodies by the front door because everyone's crowded and no one can get out. And oh. everyone, more people die from smoke well, than they do from the fire. So when I saw that, I was like, like that is so Like the mob and 13 realistic. Ghosts probably? Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, then that's, that makes that's sense. That's a real thing where no one, could, all the bouncer also didn't realize what's happening and wouldn't let anyone out the uh, stage door except uh, the band. Oh, God. So that's a thing that actually happened. I, I think I remember. I remember some nightclub burning down. No. By the way, uh, this place is really not up to code. So don't narc us out, please. <laughs> uh, OSHA. <laughs> Yeah, what was it? Uh, I like how everybody else, w- while they were panicking, some people were run- uh, were running for the doors and everything. <laughs> Freaking needy's just like, oh, we're gonna go through the bathroom window. No one is going that way. That's smart. And Jennifer's still standing there, like in her trance, like, uh. So yeah, um, <laughs> they get out, and then Adam Brody's just fine. He's like, oh, he look at all the four. He's just like, oh man, like that was crazy. I'm glad here. you guys got out here. You drink. Uh, drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, drink, 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 drink. Um, basically, he wants Megan Fox to come to their van. And then she decides to go to it like a stupid person because that's like, shouldn't you guys be calling like the ambulance and stuff and like see? Yeah, there's like explosions going out in the background. There's people running. I want to go to his really cool van. There's people (laughs) running out on fire, and it's like you want to like pat them down. Like you want to help them. At that point, you can't do anything to be quite honest. But also, I'm pretty sure they were both in shock, and also Jennifer's like in her trance. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's nothing she could do. So she goes with her, and. um, needy leaves uh, and she calls her boyfriend freaking the fuck out yeah yeah but then like she's really burying the lead on this she's like Jennifer went with all these creepy guys and I'm so upset that big fire and like she does talk about the fire yeah but even like but like I think you would be freaking the fuck out I think the boyfriend I'm on his side he's like who gives a shit about Jennifer a bunch of people just died like what the fuck they're friends yeah like people they knew and shit it was awful uh He's the best character in this movie, by the way. Yeah, Chip's pretty I great. Like he's, he's, he's like, like he's, chill. But he's he also just... has that high school vibe, too, at some point in the movie, where yeah. he's like, he gets a little jealous at some point. Like, yeah. he still plays it really well. He's just the most likable character in this film. 
So she's on the phone. She's on the phone and she hears a knock at the door. Right. Who the fuck, if you're nervous, who the fuck swings a door <clears throat> wide open? That's what yeah. she did. She heard a knock. She says, okay, stay on the phone with me. I don't know who's here. And then quickly turns. There's windows. The door yeah. had a window on it. Why don't you just look out the window? Like, Yeah. I don't. Ugh. Also, like, shouldn't you be like staying at that bar and talking to the cops and reporting what happened? Like, what are oh, you yeah, even doing? <laughs> shouldn't you also be getting checked at a hospital for smoke yeah. and for any type of So stupid. Trauma? Anyway, so she's there and. Jennifer shows up, but she's like a monster lady now, and she's covered in blood. She's all like messed up. Did you notice the continuity error, by the way, with her? What was it? So when she's standing there looking at Needy, like from the front or whatever, her mouth is closed, and then they pan to the side shot of both of them, and she's already doing the smile, and then they pan back to her and her mouth's still closed. I noticed that right away. I was like, God damn it. And then she obviously does a smile after that, but yeah. That's pretty funny. Um, yeah, so she starts like eating like a raw chicken. Yeah, it was a raw. It was from oh, uh, Boston, yeah. Boston, Boston Market, not and raw. it was a rotisserie meant, like, chicken. Yeah, it was already done. rotisserie chicken, not raw. And then she throws up Venom from Spider-Man. Yeah. I thought that was a little weird. Like it she, like spikes. Yeah, she throws so, up and then it starts moving. And I'm like, is that Venom? Like, what the fuck is that? actually used Hershey chocolate syrup for that and CGI. Yeah. I, I, I do they explain weird. what that black vomit is? No. I don't think they it's ever do. It's demon thing. Yeah. yeah. Demon the, throw up. Is it the black oil from X-Files? I think, so, <laughs> I think it's because she can't physically eat food. So that's her body rejecting it. Oh. Uh, that's okay. what I think is going on. Okay. She can only eat people, huh? Well, we, we don't know that yet. You're skipping ahead. <laughs> if you haven't seen this yet, come on. <laughs> so I haven't seen it yet. Uh, you have seen it yet. You saw it yesterday. I didn't, I didn't see it until yesterday. So yeah, she, she like roars. By yeah, the way, too. she roars, and you think she's gonna eat needy, but then she doesn't. Yeah, she no. like touches she, like, the BFF necklace. She like and yeah. then touches that and kisses her neck, and yeah, and then scared? just leaves. Are you scared? Yeah. And I can see a bunch of teen girls being really into this scene. I'm like, all right. I can see teen girls like me. While teen boys are like, I downloaded way worse videos earlier. i like, there's only two girls in this one. Pfft, boring. Anyway. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> yeah. So we get like a uh, weird flashback to them as kids mm-hmm. in the sandbox. In the sandbox. I guess that's when they became friends, that's right? Yeah. yeah. Sandbox love forever. Weird. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm friends with. That's the scene where she gets the like thumbtack in her finger or whatever it was, right? Or I is think that later? So, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and that's then she later. like she uh, takes the thumbtack out, whatever, and then they, like she like touches her fingers together sucks or whatever it? the hell it was. No, she sucks oh, the that's blood. Right, she sucks I think it. this is that's later. Is that later or is that then? I don't remember Maybe if it was later. then or later. They might flash back to it a couple times. But whatever. yeah, she I, she pricks her finger by accident and then sucks. sucks yeah, and then her that's where like the really like don't tell your mom. Oh, I think it was like later, like because she's like, why do I always have to be the ugly Barbie? Uh, Why do I always have to have the ugly Barbie? Barbie, and then she yeah pricked her finger. Yeah, uh, but the next day she shows up at school just totally fine. And also needy. Why are they in school? Then especially needy. Like needy yeah. was there, and like they're all talking about it and everything. Like wouldn't you be at like an adult and be like, oh well, this kid needs to go home. By the way, I was wrong. J.K. Simmons is the best character in this film. Is the the over caring yes. teacher. And I love. I that. have to point out a scene with him that's about to happen because I was losing my mind because it's so real. Yeah. So he comes in and he's like, we've all experienced things. Me more than the most because he's all burnt and he's missing an arm. He so I guess he. I'm guessing he like fought in like desert. What would he have fought in desert storm? Probably. Mm. Yeah. So you would have fought in something. It's like, wow, that guy's been through a lot. And it's like, everyone died. And we're all really sad. And yeah. So everyone in the school is like shook by the fire. Even the goth kid. Yeah, And he goes yeah. to talk to needy. And then the boyfriend gets jealous. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, yeah, no. It was Nick Colin. God, that, I think that, his name was. That goth stuff was a little too. He was such a cutie pie, though. He reminded me of a friend I actually had in high school. Yeah, he reminded me of a lot of people I knew in high school. (laughs) Yeah, but no, he was really nice. No, no, he was nice. I mean, the way he's dressed. I'm like, oh, God, I remember a lot of people dressed like that. I'm calling him goth guy, but he's definitely emo. Yeah, the black UFOs, the chains, all the Hot Topic gear. I always wanted that. My mom would never let me wear it. Yeah. She's like the one girl that we knew in high school in the theater. So there's a football guy who's sad. 
that yeah, his friend his, like yeah his friend died who was the one who hit on Jennifer right away as soon as they entered the bar right 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 and he's like all upset and she's like yeah and like she's clearly just preying on dudes but I feel kind of bad because like they're not bad guys no it's and not that, like you kind of so feel bad the girls them, yeah. that I knew who hyped this up online weirdos I mean it, I thought maybe like this was like a movie where they're all assholes and the girls are getting revenge no. and I'm like alright I could see why you'd probably be into that but I'm like oh no she's like a straight up murderer like this is yeah. like this guy's grieving and she's manipulating him with his grief I'm like that's really mean yeah but- Jennifer is a bad person <laughs> yeah they never said but that people, she was good I, I, I was going into this where people thought like she was like an anti-hero like no. she's technically the no, bad this guy is not at this all. isn't like teeth <laughs> okay I was gonna say teeth <laughs> yes. Teeth is that. I like teeth way more than this. Teeth is so freaking good. Uh, yeah, and yeah, teeth is way better than this. Yes. <laughs> um, this is so fine. But yeah, so she's like, yeah, let's go fuck in the woods. And of course, since he's a high school guy, he's like, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like your friend wanted us to be together. That's what he said to me before he died. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He's like, really? Whoa. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So they go into the woods and uh, all the animals in it's the forest. It's reverse Disney princess where like, <laughs> yeah. you know, she'd be singing and they come like to help or whatever. I was they're just gathering so around and be like, yeah, we're going to murder this guy. <laughs> I was so confused by that. Yeah. So confused. Because if it's also a demon, you would think animals wouldn't be nearby. Uh, oh, also she is a demon. Her jaw dislocates and she like grows a million teeth and starts yeah. ripping the guy up. This is the part where I was like, oh, J.K. Simmons. God damn it. Oh. So like he hears Here's the guy being murdered, okay? <laughs> let, it all out. let it all out. Doing all, and it's such a like legit thing where like adults don't pay attention to kids. Because <laughs> clearly something severe is going on. And he's just like, ah, oh, he's you know, he's fine. He's just crying. He does like, check scream. though. No, and then, yeah, he when does he go. stops crying, he's like, oh, that was a little too abrupt. Yeah. <laughs> and he finds like a deer just eating his guts. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was, an it was evil. so odd. It was an evil deer. <laughs> deer. Oh, uh, that was so weird. Then they're on a phone call, and Megan Fox is like exploring her demon powers. Oh, right before that, yeah. though, Needy and her mom is having a conversation at the table. Oh, right. Her mom's a little weird. Her mom's very weird, and her mom. I guess she works overnight. I don't even know what she really is. Yeah. Mm. She no was idea. in a, like a ranger outfit or something, like at later in the movie, or maybe she's a cop. I have no idea. Or yeah, some type of remember. something. <laughs> and she wakes up. It's like, oh, yeah, that, that was a day uh, nightmare. And it was of Needy being hammered to a tree like Jesus Christ. Or like JC, she said. Oh, yeah, JC. <laughs> like JC. And that was such a random fucking scene. I was like, why was that there? Because nothing like that happens later on. No, it wasn't. A pr- I was like, oh, okay, this is probably going to happen later. No. Hold on. Was it the, the scene where the uh, jock dude gets killed? Isn't this the uh, part where she says shutties? Because so- I had no idea what that meant. And I had to look it up. Apparently, I- she's just telling him to shut up. Oh yeah, that, that was another. That's another thing I wanted to ask. Like, did did girls say shutties in no. high school? I, I thought that like because I, I thought it was like a workout thing. No, because like he, he like complimented her body or whatever the hell it was, yeah. and I was just like, oh, like I guess that's the thing. But then I looked it up and I'm like, oh, she's literally telling him to shut up. They're talking on the phone, and Megan Fox is like lighting her tongue on fire. And I love that scene. So I'm so not that, so I, I saw hot. you post that gif. I've seen that gif a million times. And then she's times. just like, I, I am a god. I am god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so oh, she was also swimming in a lake though, right before that. By mm, the way, yeah. was that she the naked was, swim? Yeah, yeah. So I guess she was trying to wipe off all the blood on her. Oh, so yeah. she was she, in the lake. Remember, she got naked in the first place to kill the guy. So. Yeah, yeah. And then she's just swimming in the lake, but butt ass naked. I was like, oh. well, well, I've actually seen the behinds of the scenes uh, for that, whatever, because yeah. I remember being all. I was again obsessed with Megan Fox at this time, and I remember when they were filming Joanna's it. a big fan of stale acting. She loves it. Anyway, keep going. Yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> That's why we're still friends. Because yeah, her so, favorite Ninja Turtles is Ninja Turtles no. Two: Out of the Shadows. No. She loves that. Oh, sorry. anyway, but yeah, uh, they pretty much just had her in uh, like nude underwear and then just really? little pasties. Yeah, and I'm like, wow, because there's never been a really able- great. Because <laughs> yeah, there was never you a close been able up. To tell mm-hmm. though, because it looks like her straight up ass. Yes. I was like that. That. I was curious about that too. I was like, there's no way she's actually swimming because she and apparently seem was like, like that freezing kind of too. It looked cold. So yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, Needy goes to visit her boyfriend, and her boyfriend lets her know they're like, "Hey, football guy was just like 
eaten. And this is a day after everyone burns to death. So like the whole town is even more shook. And, yeah, they're, and then all, they're saying that the mom's catatonic. Yeah. And for some reason, Adam Brody's bands through the tree song becomes like a hit in the town. <laughs> Uh, they have like a candlelight vigil and stuff where the flowers die around the kid's picture. I don't know if that was a time lapse or if it was evil powers. I think it's a time lapse. Maybe. Uh, but then they all. No, it's definitely a time lapse. It's a time lapse. Yeah, yeah. Because then they all start moving on. Yeah. Yep. They even say, she's like, yeah, we were all healing and we had faith, but we were fucking idiots. Yeah. Uh, and I do like when Needy is like exposing the band. Because now they're like blowing up and they're like, oh, yeah, there's the radio. They yeah. in the radio, they say it's um, what's the actual name? Devil's Kettle. And they actually call it something else. Devil's um, Devil's Lake in the interview. Oh, right. yeah. That I threw like me. Like, he says it in the, uh, when he actually plays in the um, bar, too, doesn't yeah. he? I like earlier that in the movie, so he goes, uh, they're like, oh, it's so cool. You're playing out here. It's like, yeah, you know, we thought it'd be cool to visit pieces of shit like this. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, so the story is that like they saved people, and Needy's like, "No, they didn't. They I got like, out of like, there. I was there. I was there." And the, and girl's, the girl's like, so girl's like "No, they're protected. heroes. Yeah, it's on the Wikipedia." Yeah, <laughs> which I knew that girl in high school that was like too into like a band or something, and thought they were like gods. And it's like, okay, it's like, reminds me, of people are get ready like, in a couple years when uh, their popularity wanes, <laughs> and you see the real them. Uh, it's yeah. like uh, people are super into their high schools. I've never understood that either. No. Like, yeah, I never got I that I don't either. understand they're the obsession. grown like, adults and they're still obsessed with the football team. And I'm like, you don't even have kids. Why are you watching the football games? It's creepy. That's my biggest fear is a young girl is going to watch this show and become like super obsessed with me. And then I'm going to do something that upsets Yeah, it's totally going to be you. What? It's, it's Hack the Movies is great. <laughs> How many there. female followers do you even have, Tony? <laughs> Did it know. just say it was like 95% males that watch this show? I mean, I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're the only ones. <laughs> I cannot. Look, there are, yeah. the funny thing is there are people who own posters of me. It's just not teenage girls. <laughs> no. Shout out to the girls that actually watch this. Hey, girls. Hey. <laughs> but I'm hoping there's not someone like, Tony's so great. And then one day I like say an opinion they don't agree with. And they're like, they betrayed me. <laughs> I'm gonna burn my Tony Peaks poster that I got on Teespring, the Teespring store. Heck, the movie. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> See, Adam Brody's a cool guy in this. Uh, <laughs> Again. <laughs> All right, now this is what I want to know. They say PMS isn't real. Oh, I hated that line. Can someone it was so? Can someone confirm that? Apparently, men invented PMS, according to this movie. Someone. Confirm? You're also skipping ahead because uh, Jennifer is sitting next to Needy as this whole thing's happening. Oh, she and she like looks like shit. Well, they mention it later. She looks terrible for her. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> she still looks great. Like, what the yeah. hell? I wish I yeah. could look like that. That's my Her worst. skin's just not as glowy as normal. Yeah. Her hair's like just a little, <laughs> a little bit flat. Thing, yeah. Like, but yeah, then, uh, yeah. you know, she asked her if she was like PMSing or whatever. And then she said, it's fake. it's not fake. PMSing is not fake. Okay. Because I was wondering. It is not. You come on. You of all people should know. I was going to say, because I've known many women in the past that have used that as an excuse for giving me a hard time. And uh, I was like, oh, is this movie telling me they're all liars? But apparently no, the movie is lying. No, it sucks. It's real. Okay. It It's painful. It sucks. So, it's not fun. Hashtag cancel Diablo Cody. But she needy even <laughs> says, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, and then it's weird. The the emo kid, goth guy, oh my goodness. wants to flirt with Megan Fox. Which was odd. I didn't think yeah, that, that would have... That was really... That felt Because I thought he was yeah. in Needy at one point. Yeah. But yeah, he's trying to flirt with her, and Megan Fox isn't into it. And then Needy, like, convinces him to go on... Convinces her to go on a date with him. Yeah, so basically... I love this scene, though. Uh... He came over to talk with her, and apparently she has talked to him before because she was saying something about like, can she copy homework or whatever it was? Oh, English. Yeah. I can't remember or something. Yeah. yeah, but basically, um, Needy doesn't convince her. She just sees that Needy kind of likes him and thinks, thinks he's cool. So guy. she's like, oh, okay. Well, then I'm gonna take the guy you like. It seems oh. like Jennifer's also trying to up Needy as well. Like she's, she seems as if she also doesn't. It's the insecurity of, mm. that women tend to have too. Even though she's this stunning, she could have anyone she wants. Yeah, Jennifer's insecure as shit. Like that's it's, she's that's very a thing high school and college girls do wanted to steal a girl's guy just for some reason. Just, just so she can feel better about herself or that she. He's hot or she can do it. Yeah. 
it's a it, it's an insecurity thing. So she goes, oh wait, Needy actually thinks this guy is awesome. Wait a minute. And then he invites her to go watch Rocky Horror, <laughs> which is my favorite movie <laughs> and show. About it. It's totally a fighting movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like boxing yeah, movies. Really, I don't like boxing movies. And it's like, and I wanted just like, to what? jump through the screen and struggle even, her. Even I was Needy like, was like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> So she goes on that, and uh, oh, Needy finally, <laughs> Needy finally remembers she has a boyfriend and decides to give him attention. Finally, poor guy. Oh, uh, he gets some attention. He yeah, does. He does. He and stands then, I got some attention. extra condoms tonight. <laughs> I mean, we don't have. To. He's is such, she, is he's she a so virgin at that though. point? I don't think so. I think they had sex before. Oh, okay, I thought maybe she was a because uh, Jennifer says something in the beginning uh, when they go to hang out uh, at the mm. bar. She says, "Oh, it smells like Thai food in here. Have you two been fucking?" Yeah, uh, so, and like they they weren't acting like it was like, "Oh no," because you know how like in high school, if someone says you're having yeah. sex, even though you're in a relationship, it's like, "Oh God, no, what yeah. are you talking about?" Yeah. So uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure they have. Been. I'm pretty sure they have been. Can you show what that might? You're slapping. I can't. It should be like this way. <laughs> Look, we're like not, you're in my way. We're not moving it again. Deal with it. <laughs> it needs to be flipped. No. Yes. Anyway, I think you can <sighs> turn it. Can you? Ten hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Ten hours. That was like two minutes. Yeah. Uh, so Megan sends the emo guy to like. Is it a house that's in development or yes. is it a rundown? Okay. No, it's definitely in development. Because he's, he's like, like, the wood's like brand new. Yeah, yeah. He's like driving, singing, uh, I'm walking on the side. I, or, I, no, I, I, see, I can see clearly now a it, punk rock version. Yeah. Though, yeah. And I was actually jamming. I was like, okay. And this this is, this is definitely got the, the, the technology right. He's got his iPad plugged into a thing that goes into the tape deck. I'm like, all right, that, that, that actually, yep. that's, oh my God, now I'm starting to feel old. <laughs> that was probably real cool at the time. It was. Uh, yeah, so he's like going all in on that song, and then he realizes like he's in just a random part of town. Because the lights suddenly are off. Yeah, yeah. Because he was like, oh, wait, what the hell? Also, no one lives there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like fenced in too. Because yeah. they're still doing construction or something. And I love the song that's playing in the background. <laughs> it was T Pain, and I was actually shocked that they played the censor version. It's um, I want to love you, but the actual song right. is I want to fuck you. And I yes. was like, that would have fit the movie so much better. Uh. This is really Did art. Ever say the F bomb in that? I thought this was PG thirteen. Is it PG? Oh, that maybe that's why. Wait, what? No, this can't be PG thirteen, right? There's like so much blood in this. Uh, have Apparently, you not seen, in the like, director's cut, though, there's a lot more violence and it's way more sexual, and they actually couldn't release that in Australia. Oh, oh Australia are fucking wimps. <laughs> like you can't get like they, they like censor like the Mortal Kombat games Seriously? and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's rated R, so they could have okay. used that version. Oh, that's shitty. Yeah. There could have been so much more nakedness too. <sighs> wow. You, you really not... don't see much. You don't see any naked, do you? You don't see any boobs. No. no. There's no, no boobs. No. That nothing. makes you think maybe there was an attempt to make this PG-13. And they just couldn't chop it down enough. Maybe it's just too violent. What's it say? Why is it rated R? Uh, sexuality, bloody violence, language, and brief drug use. Stupid. Anyway. That's whatever. really dumb, yeah. And at the same time, so as this is happening, uh, what's we call it? They're having sex or attempting sex. <laughs> and then oh. uh, this is another question I have for you ladies. Mm -hmm. uh, you give me such a weddy. Has, has that ever been said? Do you ever say that to? No. I have never said that or heard Not that said, uh, except wedding. for this movie. No. <laughs> wedi so, is so weird. Yeah, it's. I've heard it say full out, like, oh, you make me so wet. I mean, that, maybe but that's not... one of the things where they were trying to do this lingo to get a PG 13 think, rating. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just like, that just sounds stupid. Like, that doesn't sound I, sexy or anything. It, it just... throws you out when she says that, too. And I'm just like, oof. Because I sat there and I'm like, wait, what? Was that supposed to be sexy? Now I'm just thinking, I'm like, that's a weird way to say it. That would. Mm. I mean, Jennifer's Megan, also just weird. I mean, if she Megan is. Fox is saying it, I guess I just don't care. But like, yeah, she, if yeah. anyone else was was like, yeah, you're giving me such a wedding, I'd be like, what the hell? Are you an idiot? What like, is that? That sounds like, <laughs> I don't think, no, no, I don't think sexual when you say that. <laughs> Needy and Chip are having sex at the same time, which very is very awkward. awkward. I very was awkward. like, oh, well, I mean, it's high school. Like, How good can it be? And that's what it looks. And it does kind of look like they're having sex for the first time. Yeah, that's what I thought it, it was. It looked like it, but I don't think that was their first time. Because especially if he got extra. I don't know. Well, you have to get extra in case you like screw up. <laughs> it happens. Especially anyway, so while that's happening, we get like the vision of like the dead football guy and Megan Fox is like yeah, a weird, like, she's like, bah. 
No, she was just kind of. Just sitting yeah. Like, it was very odd that but she it, has these. Yeah, it's images. scaring. The, the funny thing is, it's scaring Needy who's screaming. <laughs> And like the guy thinks Shit, it's him doing it. Am I too big? Am I too big? Am I really? He's like smiling. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Mega Fox like completely rips apart that dude, which is pretty mean. And she's even like drinking the blood. Yes, I love uh, the shadow of him of her killing him. Yeah, that was yeah, that was cool. cool. I I would have preferred that over the CGI mouth. I don't, yeah. think, I don't think we were there with CGI mouths yet. No. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Needy sees Jennifer in the street, like covered in blood, and then Jennifer like attacks her. And she just jumps on the car. She was just like messing with her. I guess. Uh, but then back at her house, after like carefully looking around the house, she's like in her bed. And it's like, okay, now she's not trying to attack her. Okay. And then she's all completely normal, completely clean, wearing yeah. somewhat. She mentions her shirt. I didn't get what she said, though, about the shirt that she's wearing. Is I someone don't else's remember. shirt? Or how'd you. And then mm. she's just in like panties, a t shirt, and like high socks. Yeah. yeah. So if that was Needy losing her virginity, she got to make out with Megan Fox on the same night. I mean, good for I... her. That's a win for me. <laughs> this was my favorite scene. Okay. And. Apparently, it was also the actress's favorite scene as well, Amanda and Megan. Yeah. So in an interview, Amanda literally says the words, I think Megan and I, uh, Megan and I, I did not write this right. <laughs> <laughs> Megan and I kissed, oh no, I did. I think Megan and I kissed really well together. We have similar kissing styles and it worked. I also remember them talking about when they watched the movie in the theaters together and how they were just like, oh, Jesus Christ, this is kind of awkward because there was no music or anything. It's just <gasps> them just smacking. Uh, so they were just kind of like, oh, but they, <laughs> bet, they really enjoyed making out with each other. I bet that was really hot for some of the people watching. Yeah, it but was. Again, in 2009, I was watching way cooler shit than that. Yeah, but it's Megan Fox and Amen Amanda. Look, I found I, I found my love for uh, Gianna Michaels that year. So, <laughs> who I eventually met one day, and I've talked about many, many times. Uh, and Reddit gets upset when I mention it. Anyway, but yeah, so, so yeah, they Megan's make out there, for a bit, and Megan finally, out, and she grabs her boobs so many times in this movie too, and I'm like. <laughs> But Needy like stabs out of it. She's like, no, 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 wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, what's, what's going what's, on? What's going, what's going? What the fuck is happening? So then she finally tells her the story of what happened that night. So in the van, uh, they're all doing drugs and stuff, and the band has books on the occult and witchcraft. And then I guess whatever trance Megan Fox was in, she starts to snap out of it. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, she's a virgin. And she thinks, like, they're going to, like, rape her or something. Yeah. Uh, and she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I've never even done sex. <laughs> I've never done sex before. Because she thinks that'll, like, get them to mm -hmm. not want her or something. Because uh, she doesn't know how asshole men work, apparently. Yeah, uh, usually that's, like, a little bit more of a turn on for some. Which I don't fucking get. I never got that at all. Like, oh, I want to, like, why? There, uh, you want to... Have someone who bends their back the wrong way in certain positions because they haven't just done a pillow it. princess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dead it's fish. Bad. Yeah, yeah. It's it's. I don't. And not everyone was like that on their first time. Anyway, uh, the band like ties her up and stuff, and the whole thing is they're sacrificing her to the devil, I guess, so they can become rich and famous. Yep. Uh, and Adam Brody's actually pretty great in this scene. <laughs> He's like, we're going to stab you, we're going to do this, and we're going to wear your face. And she starts like screaming. She's like, we're not actually going to do that last part. The other parts we're definitely going to do. Yeah. And the guy's like hesitant. And he was like, don't you want to be like big and rich, uh, big and rich, like the guy from Maroon 5? <laughs> He's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. Five. So I do want to be like hey. uh, And then they're like talking about how they're going to write a song for her. And then they all start singing 8675309. That was hilarious. Which uh, I know someone who who wrote a uh, really, really terribly written lawsuit. And one of the evidence was they tried to dox me by giving out the number 8675309 because he didn't realize it was a joke and he didn't realize it was a song. Oh, my God. And he God. put that in his court case. <laughs> like, they doxed me. They gave out this number saying it was mine. And like, he had no idea. It went over his head that it was a reference to a song. And he... <laughs> So wow. <laughs> Lolsuit.com. I think it's still up. <laughs> wow. So somehow Megan survived the stabbing. She didn't, though. 
Well, no. she says she survived the stabbing, but doesn't remember anything after that because I think it's implied they threw her in the hole. She was thrown in the hole. Yeah. yeah. So she technically died, but then she's brought back as like the demon thing. Yeah. yeah, the demon gave, she gets demon powers, which they explore later on. They tell you like why that is. Uh, but yeah, uh, Jennifer killed Ahmed from India. That was so sad. Who was credited yeah, that was as really Ahmed sad. from India. That was really mean. Yeah, I'm like, oh. He was like the only like survivor basically besides like Needy yeah. and Jennifer. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, come here. I'll take care of you. And I'm like, really? You're a bitch. Like, yeah. He's so really cute. Mean. He's so she's sweet. Like, he's this... so quiet. And they're like, yeah. does anyone know? Does your parents know you're alive? Does anyone know you're alive? No <laughs> one knows you're alive? Come here. Also, like all these murders and stuff, like did the town like call the FBI or anything? Like, where's so, there was nothing. So, so if Agent Cooper wasn't stuck in the Black Lodge at this time, I'm sure he would have came to town and tried to figure. So this the out. thing with uh, Ahmed, they just think he burned in the bar. Yeah, but I mean, like the, the only other, like I'm talking about, like the goth well, kid yeah. and stuff. Well, I don't think they found the goth kid yet. No, um, they, this is like so they have a okay. funeral okay. for the goth kid, but, but yeah. like. You yeah. think like after two people were eaten and I thought like shouldn't you be don't, investigating this? Yeah, and it's they're eating almost the same way. Like, don't you think yeah. something fucked up happened? Yeah, it's weird. There's a fire. Uh, there's two kids die. But we never know what the law enforcement in the town is doing. No, <laughs> they do more research, and uh, in the occult section of the library, which apparently is not very, very small. Big. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was great. I love when he's like, "There's an occult section." She finds out that uh, they screwed up their sacrifice. So if you do a virgin sacrifice for someone who's not a virgin since junior high school, apparently, according to this movie, uh, it instead of the girl dying, a demon can enter their body or something. You want to know the it's thing a- that pisses me off the most about like virgin sacrifices? What? It's not actually like sexual stuff. It's if the blood has been used in a ritual before. Is it really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wait, That's what, what virgin blood is. Oh. So like if you use my blood in like some type of like witchy ritual or whatever, I, I my blood obviously would not be virgin blood anymore. Oh, what, what about what the, like the people they that. were like throwing in volcanoes and stuff? Yeah, that's just people being sexist. Oh, okay. Yeah. Remember the first Godzilla movie? They said they yes, used to sacrifice yes, virgins yes. to Godzilla. And at no point in that movie does anyone go like, well, let's let's try the virgin thing. It worked in the past. And <laughs> it's a big flaw in that movie. Yeah, you said it before. <laughs> I know. The first episode of our podcast, Castzilla, where she can get at castzilla.com. Uh, unrelated to this podcast, which you can get at hackthemovies.com. Yeah. So yeah, so that, that's so, yeah, the whole so it's like the backstory. Demonic whatnot, transference is what it is. Which I think we learned about at Vampa Museum Vampa. <gasps> yeah, when uh, that was Edmondo so much fun. told you all the demonic stuff. I loved that so much, <laughs> so much. Uh, yeah, so she's telling this all to her boyfriend, and her boyfriend thinks she's insane, mm-hmm. and she's offended by this. But this is a part I related to being a young man in high school I knew so many girls who thought that they were witches and shit they were like I am a witch I'm really into wicked stuff I've been doing like a binding spell and it's like okay you watch the craft and you're sad you watch the craft we get it you're into it we get it it. you watch (laughs) the craft I I was like that since elementary school when I was in first grade I was really into witches and I always thought I was a witch and everyone thought I was weird (laughs) I have so many stories of being weird I I wanted I remember seeing like a little was it Probably like a dead bird in the like at recess, and I was like, I will do a sacrifice and blah blah blah. This is me in first grade. Yeah, so, I wonder uh, why I had no friends. Uh, what, what's, <laughs> and then those girls grow up and they're like, so astrology is like somebody's like star sign is in this house and it does this. I'm and a this. Scorpio and I'm a double Gemini. <sighs> I knew so many girls who were like into this shit okay. and like then you get older and you find out like oh no they just had a fucked home life uh, they weren't witches so I'm on the guy's side where he's like you should probably like get help this isn't normal <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> so they end up bringing up because she's like it's not safe to be around me anymore please promise me you're not going to prom and he's like well I already bought you your crochet yeah the poor oh, guy no, I felt so bad it's a total of $12 poor, <laughs> poor guy I felt so bad for him. Oh, school dances sucked. I hated dances. I had fun dances. at some of them. No. No, I didn't mean like dances like the, the formal ones where you needed the date and stuff, which looking back was kind of shitty. My senior prom, I went by myself. I went to all the senior proms God, throughout wish. high school. I, will. I had so much fun my at senior, senior prom, prom other I than my date. Senior prom. Same. <laughs> yeah. Same. Uh, I, my best promo was my junior prom. And that's oh, when I yeah. took. Yeah. My senior prom, I took. Well, I'm going to censor out his last name. Mistake. <laughs> mistake. I should have brought again. Yeah. He was just sitting there like a sad little lump or whatever, never wanted to do anything, was being a brat. So then my one friend asked me to dance and I'm like, hell yeah, I'm going to dance yeah. with you because he's just being an ass. And then he's sitting there at the table like this. Yeah. Oh. I'm like, 
<laughs> that was yeah. My senior prom sucked too. Uh, what was I that? know I was there. What was I was in the one? same group oh, with you. God, that one winter formal with what's her face. When I found out at the winter formal, I was being used to get another guy jealous. And then at that same winter formal, the girl realized that it did not work. So at the winter formal is when she decided to be real bitchy to me. I'm like, nope. I didn't know that this was a an elaborate this. plot. Like, what the hell? She that started- almost that almost happened. Yeah. How almost to me? I was a sophomore and I was dating this guy who was a senior, and we were dating. We bought tickets, and all of a sudden, I found out he was cheating on me, and he was going with this other girl that was a senior. But he was like, "Well, I already paid for your ticket, so you're still going with me." And I was like, "What the hell?" My right. junior prom. I, was like, I took another guy's girlfriend to prom. There you go. But and that's everyone what it was. was really mad at me, <laughs> and they're like, "Don't you know she has a boyfriend?" I'm like, "I don't care." <laughs> but like, I already bought the dress, so he loved he loved the color orange. He was, a, he was an interesting guy. He wanted me to dress in a blue dress because he was wearing an orange tuxedo because he wanted to be like dumb and dumber. Oh, I said, Jesus. I don't, I was like, I don't know. He's like, you should wear orange. I was like, I don't look good in orange. I'm a redhead. Mm. And then I ended up just wearing a white dress and he was in an orange top hat, whole everything orange suit and everything. We showed up. He had his friend show up in an orange Camaro. I had to sit in the back. Yeah. And then I ended up going with him. Our prom pictures though were us back to back like this. <laughs> I had so much fun because I had friends with I had fun with his friends. Yeah. I was friends with everyone in his grade anyway. Yeah. I had so much fun. Not at, I had fun at every other prom, every senior prom except my own. Yeah. No, I kind of huh. feel that. I, I had fun in other my people's age. dances. Uh, yeah, I hated people my age. Anyway, speaking of dances. <laughs> Real trip down high school memory lane this whole episode. Yeah. Uh, Megan Fox, like, they think Jennifer is, well, Needy thinks Jennifer is going to, like, eat everyone at the prom, like mm. Carrie. And that's where I thought it was going and ends up not going there because maybe they didn't have enough, the budget for that. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be like a Carrie. Yeah. I, I like how it is now, though. It's a little it bit is, more yeah. personal. Yeah. So, 80s uh, prom, dre- like, full yeah. 80 montage of everyone getting ready. Yeah. Needy's dress is full puffy pink 80s. You're like, what the hell? She She's taking big pictures. Tease hair. Yeah. yeah. I was like, is this her mom's like dress? Her mom's yeah. posing with her. And I think, is this the time they're playing the song uh, Kiss with a Fist? Florence I think and so. the Machine. As soon as I heard that, I was like, damn, I love this is fucking that the song. song. Right, there it's was Florence one the song in here that I was like, oh God, I remember hearing this shit all the time. I love Florence and the Machine. And it was like, I was like, yes. It like, mm. it fits so well. And I think it was during this montage. So and then like the mom comes in like, asking Chip if he's, uh, that is make so sure sad. He's like, I'm going to meet her there. It's just like, how oh, that poor. Taking pictures and, with the sister. Yeah, yeah, taking a picture with your and sister. And then Jennifer's just in front of the mirror, just crying, like yeah. almost crying. Yeah, crying, putting yeah. her makeup on. She, I was like, I've just never done that. Taking on the makeup. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I've never done that before. <laughs> 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 just crying in the mirror as I put on makeup. Uh, but then Jennifer is stalking uh, the boyfriend. Well, you know, Needy actually goes to the dance and she's looking for Jennifer. She's yeah. someone who looks like Jennifer, but it was yeah. not Jennifer. Because she thinks she's going to go like crazy at the yeah. dance, but really she has yeah. a more personal plan in mind. But then Chip's outside. Yeah. And then Jennifer runs into him. Yes. And, and she's uh, like, oh. In hmm. between this, J.K. Simmons. <laughs> I could have used way more of him. He introduces yes. low shoulder to play at their their uh, prom. I really would have loved again, like if Jennifer was at the prom, because I would love to see her kill them. Wait, That's so why did I they wanted. go back to the small town? Because it was a tribute. Yeah. Too, because they they said, um, what was it? Nine percent of their record was going towards the town in the fire. As oh, I remember that. They're so like nine percent. It's charity. very brave. It's like, well, what about the other percent? Yeah. Like, that's very crass. <laughs> so they're doing this as a tribute and a favor because they were at the bar and blah, blah, blah. it's a publicity Ugh, stuff. So stupid. Oh, that's right. They're supposed to be the but heroes. Like, how fucking yeah. funny would it be if like they're looking out in the crowd and they see Jennifer and it's just like, wait, yeah. that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted too. Like, didn't yeah. Jennifer oh. realize? Like, why does she not want to kill these guys? Yeah. <gasps> and then uh, Jennifer lies and tells Chip that Needy was cheating on her with the, with the guy, guy mm-hmm. which this is something I remember from high school. There were like, well, girls would just like lie about it someone cheating. It happened to cheating. me too. I was seeing this guy I really liked. Uh, yeah. It was my freshman year of high school. I really liked the guy and we were dating for a month kind of yeah. thing, but we never did anything yeah. at all. And the girls were like, oh, he's going to break out with you. He's going to break out with you at lunch today. And I was like, I'm going to break out with him first. And then, <laughs> that's what happened. He's and probably then, like, what? What did I do? Yeah. And then through all throughout high school, we realized, like, we're still friends. And he's like, 
yeah, I didn't want to break up with you. I was like, imagine what life would have been if we actually <laughs> stayed together. Oh my together. God. I remember girls being like, they're seeing this person. Yeah, I, I, it was ugh, like that. Forget who it was, but I remember they're being like, hey, uh, what's her face just told me that you were like sleeping with her, you cheating on your boyfriend. She's like, what the fuck? Uh, what happened? The one girl I broke up with in college, well, post-college, uh, I remember she was given, oh, the one who broke up with me, the only girl who's ever broken up with me. She was giving me a list of reasons for why, and I'm just like, fair, fair, yeah, I could see that. And then the one she's like, by the way, I know you've been talking to so-and-so, and I'm like, no, I haven't. Not that I'm above that, but I was like, this specific time, I did not do that. Who's feeding you this information? Oh I found God. out someone was feeding them false information to make me look like worse than I already was. <laughs> Wow. Like, uh, yeah, so that's that was another very r- relatable thing. This movie is very relatable in certain parts. Except for when they're saying shit like weddy and shut. That was weird. The lingo was just Your lime green jello and you don't what was it? Your lime green lime green jello and you don't even know it. Oh yeah. So it's but, supposed to be jealousy or something. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, no. That That's was like stupid, what it, but I love it so much. What happened in Juno? Someone said like honest a blog or something. Remember so when everybody stupid. wanted a hamburger phone because of that movie? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But Everyone wanted to be Juno. Everyone wanted to be Juno. I, I sure like, as hell didn't. <laughs> Pregnant? <laughs> that's what I was just saying. I was like, who wants? No. Jennifer brings Chip to like an abandoned pool. And like, yeah. what was that? What was that building? It was so weird when you see Needy running up to it. And I'm like, is this, it's, was it a CGI building? Oh like, yeah, was that, that the exterior that was definitely, was definitely yeah, CGI. Was like, but like, what was the building supposed to? I had no idea. Was it, it was like, on a it's hill. It's definitely an old pool. It's definitely an old pool. I'm like, is this like, part of like. school? Like that's the only thing I would think of is like an old community center or like an old high school. Yeah. But besides that, it looked like it would have been like a castle on a hill kind of thing, but in a. Abandoned. Yeah, I get it's spooky, but it's just weird. Yeah, it was, yeah. That, that was weird. Yeah, was so ne- this- Needy shows up and like Jennifer's already like ripped the dude the side of his throat out, uh, which is pretty, pretty brutal. And then uh, she goes in to like save her and whatnot. Save him. Save him. Yeah, she yeah. goes in to save him and yeah. whatnot. <laughs> and then it turns into Jaws for a second. <laughs> She pepper sprays her. Oh, that's right. So, the mom gave Chip ladies pepper spray because of all the murders. And it actually happened. Why did he not use that in the beginning when she was eating his neck? What I think is, I think she can put a trance on people. I think that's why uh, Needy made out with her because she was using like this. I magic. think she made out with her because she's always wanted to. Well, so I think like if you have an attraction to her, she can use like a trance on you. I think that's what it is because I think she's like hot and everyone wanted to do her. Yeah, but there's a little bit more to it than that. Like, because Needy's clearly thinking she's a murderer. She's not going to make out with her right then and there. Hey, and she thinks she's a murderer. Tension. Unless there's this, like, demonic trance, which I want to get back to earlier, the very okay. beginning. When Megan, so when I first watched this, I knew that she becomes like a demon monster. Yeah, I knew yeah. that going in. So when she's having, like, the trance and stuff, I'm like, oh, is she, like, evil and causing the fire to get alone with the guys? But now watching, I'm like, okay. Was the band doing a trance on her? Like a spell to put her in a trance with like their music? Because that was weird that she was like... Yeah. But they weren't already witched. Like. Well, I, I assume they knew other spells. They just didn't do the thing to make themselves rich and famous. Maybe they knew other... Like you said, I think they might have started the fire. Like they, they had some kind did. of magic. Yeah. So, Because it was weird that she was... Because she's definitely in shock afterwards, but she was in that trance before. before that, yeah. yeah. So I think that's what she can do to everyone. She like Maybe. puts like a little spell on them. Uh, but they, I think they have to be attracted to her first. I think that was already happening before. Look, I don't care <laughs> how hot the chick is. If I think she just murdered someone like 10 seconds you ago. You know how great crazy sex is, though? Yeah, but I also don't want to be like an accessory to murder. Like, oh <laughs> like, might be worth it because I hear the sex in jail isn't as good. So, <laughs> but you were gonna get murdered anyway by her if you're gonna go out. No, you're not. Have, you go don't out know. She, by fucking they Megan might have Fox. been a crazy person to want to murder people for the person. It's like I didn't want that. Sorry. Anyway, she can fly. She's just hovering. It's not that impressive, but do you have to undermine everything that I do? Let's pause yeah. one second. There's a fucking gnat in the studio. Why 
all the Where? episodes with you, there's a gnat or a fly. What do you do? Where do you, where do you, what do you where? do before? The, I just flew like three times that I noticed it. Oh, I so what do you that. do before you come to the store? Uh, do you roll around in a field? What's going on clearly here? clearly because you keep opening the door. That is how yeah, the horse got the in horse. earlier. It's the flies and the gnats from the horse. Goddamn Jennifer Aniston. Were you riding that horse? <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. That's really mean to Jennifer Aniston. Not Jennifer Aniston. Sorry, Jessica Parker. Crystal, I will have you know. I see the net. Jennifer Aniston watches this show. And she's watching right now going. Not Jennifer Aniston. She's watching right now going, what a bitch. <laughs> Not Jennifer Aniston. I've been through she's enough. Like, I fucking love her. So anyway, anyway, I, I love when she's like flying and she's like, it's hovering. It's not as impressive. And they're like trying to like one up each other with insults. Uh, she goes to attack and Chip like stabs her. Uh, no, with- then she calls her a jerk. Like, um, Needy calls Jennifer a jerk. Right. She's like, oh, nice comeback, Hannah Montana. Got any new har- or any more harsh digs? Yeah, I was like, and I'm like, what is going on? I love that he stabs her with like the full skimmer. Oh, First don't- of all, you're skipping ahead. Oh, too. sorry. You forgot about the, uh, oh, I'm going to eat your soul. Oh, I'm going to eat your soul <laughs> and ways. shit it out. They're like, I thought you only ate guys. I go oh, both ways. Way. That was in the, oh. um, in the preview, right? In the trailer. Mm-hmm. That's why I was like, I love that line, but I was like, mm-hmm. I've seen it so many times. I was like, yeah, that that's yeah. the trailer. I remember when I saw the trailer, it seemed like it was appealing to like, college lipstick, like fake lesbian, you know, those girls in college. The girls who would like make out to get the guys turned on, but they're not actually lesbians, and they would say shit like this. And it's like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. You don't remember those? I do. Yeah, they suck. That's that's what I thought this movie was going for, and I think by accident, that's a lot of the fans of this movie. Uh, it's kind of like American History X is a comment on how racism is bad, and a bunch of guys I knew in high school loved it, and they were super racist. And I'm like, I think you missed the point of this motion picture. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, they go then both. Chip then stabs her. Chip stabs how her. How does she not see Chip? First of all, and she's distracted. And then, who are what? you guys? Who are you guys to point out poor vision? You both, you Your both eyeballs are eroding. But my vision's yes. fine. Doesn't matter. It's just the cells that keep work. my eyes safe uh-huh. or bad. But it my vision doesn't count when you have no eyes to work. You have to keep them shut. Wear a fucking eye patch. <laughs> Don't shame. That, that's very ableist of you. <laughs> Making fun. Hashtag cancel crystal. Oh, cancel uh, that actually is pretty cancel catchy. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like when she's taking the pools. Camera. She's like, uh, uh, it reminded me of. Uh, <laughs> When uh, Pee Wee Herman dies in the Buffy movie, <laughs> he just dies for a really long time. He's like, Aww. ah, 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 ah. Uh, but then poor what? Chip dies. But what pool skimmer, though, has a, that sharp of an point? I it's, think it's just stuff that's eroding and just kind of just Is that what apart. it was? Yeah, I think it's kind of what so it was. Weird. I, was I like, guess it broke, like that? the pool skimmer was yeah. broken at the end. I don't uh, know. Whatever. I got a tampon. Thought I'd ask. Seem like you might be plugging. So yeah, I I feel bad for Chip dying. The poor son yeah, of a bitch poor, didn't deserve it. He's yeah, the only character just, in this movie that didn't do anything and he was wrong. So sweet though, as he's dying too, you still feel for him. Yeah. Like he's just And like yeah. sure he was making out with like Jennifer, whatever, but like it's because he was he was sad. He was confused. He was also broken up with. So technically, he didn't cheat on you. Yeah, he was broken yeah, up he was. with. And they also, were on a break. We, also, she was the demon lady using demon powers. I don't yeah. think he's the only character that's thinking like. Actually, all the boys she kills, like they didn't do anything wrong. They weren't even asked. Like this is really mean. Again, which is the point of the movie. It's yeah. just I didn't know that going in. Uh, she's a really bad bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or good bad guy. Uh, and then we finally go to the very beginning of the film. Yes. When uh, she like, she, okay, Amanda, what the fuck? She like jumps head first into the, the window. Like, that was fantastic. <sighs> I was not expecting that. She was. Well, <laughs> Jennifer was watching like the, those workout commercials, yeah. right? And oh then, yeah, the guy. Yeah. Uh, but then also in her um, book, she's like circling yum yeah. around, dude. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so she breaks in. They're having like a knife fight. Uh, it's a box cutter. Box cutter. Box cutter. Because she got right. it at Home Depot, and yes. she's like, <laughs> That's "You're so, so butch." butch. <laughs> That's so- and I was like, "I love Home Depot." Uh, and then Jennifer, <laughs> yeah, I, like, I actually she- have knives. Like- yeah. <laughs> Jennifer's like flying around. She starts doing uh, the hovering thing. But then this is weird. So like the 
the BFF. Oh, you forgot the. Uh, she says cross out Jennifer, Jennifer, and then she slices her stomach oh, too. Oh, right, great. right, right, right. And then that's when she starts hovering, and then yeah. So she cuts the necklace. I don't think she cut the necklace. I think she, she ripped it off. It. Or she ripped yeah. it off, and then for some reason that makes Jennifer like fall. I got confused bed. with that too, as if that was her. It was used. So as how a much power, of it is it Jennifer, and or is it a demon that just absorbed Jennifer's like memories? No, I'm pretty sure it's still Jennifer. It's just she got power. Yeah. Okay. So, but the the thing I took from the whole thing with the necklace was like that was like the final straw. Like that was the cutoff between uh, her and Needy's like friendship. It was breaking her heart. So then, yeah. So oh, okay. the, Jennifer like, was like in shock. <clears throat> like holy shit! Like Needy stood up for herself. Yeah. I have no power over her anymore. That's then, what I took. And then she stabs her. Because yeah. there's a flashback to the sandbox again. Yeah. There's many flashbacks right, right, to the right. sandbox. And it, yeah. And it had the blood on the heart and everything. Mm-hmm. It was very... There in your face. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So she murders her. She stabs her right in the heart and she goes, my tit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, your heart. <laughs> that was fantastic. I love that. And then Jennifer's mom, who hasn't existed in the whole movie. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I guess, I guess like, got hey, off her horse. In here? <laughs> and then. Yeah. She's like, oh my God. You did that. Yeah. yeah uh, she's so, like holding her and everything. And freaking yeah. Needy's just like, oh, I'm just going to lay here on the bed. I'm fucked anyway. But I kind of <laughs> like that because there are so many horror films where people are killed and the there no one's caught and no one yeah. says anything yeah. like in the nightmare before, uh, on Elm Street like there's so many of them where it's just like okay all these kids died no one's questioning yeah. anything yeah it's weird uh, to be fair on that one they're being killed by a dream man uh, no not just that there's other parts of it right where- right right uh, so yeah then we we see uh, her back in the mental asylum and then we learned that if you get bit by a demon lady and you survive, you get some of their demon powers. Yep. So she breaks out of that joint. I <laughs> and she loved hovers it. and then she kicks open the window. And she, and make, she walks through the fence. And then, I loved it. This I was not ready for this. She gets picked up by Lance Henriksen. Yep. Who we all know from Alien 3. Alien 3 is pretty good, right? Alien 3 is great. Alien 3 is good. I think we might be reviewing that soon. Good. (laughs) I guess Lance Henriksen shows up, and I thought, like, maybe he was, like, all pervy and she was going to kill him. He was looking her up and down. That's what I was waiting for. I mean, she's not a bad looking girl. Uh, But yeah, so it reminded me of the end of Teeth when the old creepy guy picks the girl up, and you're like, all right, she's going to kill him. Uh, and yeah, so they're driving away and they're driving along a low shoulder. Yep. <laughs> like, all right. It's a little too, like. In your face. Yeah. Uh, and then well, the she, whole movie. He asks, where are you going? Yeah, she's like, I'm going to follow a band. It's, it's their last yeah, concert. It's their, it's their last, last show. show. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the, the end credits. It's just I her murdering it. all it's of them. It's the montage of it. Yeah. 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 You just I, see the band having the time of their lives being assholes. Yeah. Just, just destroying yeah. a hotel. They're doing coke in the bathroom. Oh, oh! On the way, while the she's walking, she finds where the hole empties out to. That's it. Yeah. That's right. She finds the, the knife, knife that they used, and mm-hmm. all like the balls that the scientists were using. So she kills Adam Brody with the knife. She was that returning was it. Yeah, 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 she was. Yeah. I love yeah. that last shot of like all the girls running to the hotel room and like she's freezes on Amanda yeah, while they're all screaming. Out with her up. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god! I love this movie. Yeah. So I haven't seen it for the first time ever. I really enjoyed it. I, love I, it. I enjoyed it's it. Fun. I think my girlfriend didn't like it. Really? Well, she's like, I think she enjoyed it, but she was like, that was fucking stupid. Oh. I'm like, yeah, I can see that. As long uh, as you go into it knowing that it's stupid, it's like, I don't think. You go? I don't like, think, you go in, you're just like, I don't like, think my okay, girlfriend can relate to the high school girls in this movie. I think that might be an issue. I there. feel like there's an it, there's somewhere you can relate to w- at least one character in the movie. If you're not relating to... What if you to- went to an inner city high school? I don't think you're going to relate to this movie about just white assholes in the suburbs. I want to call mm-hmm. this a suburb. It's more like a... It was a suburb. Yeah, more like a hick town. Wow. Wow, that's... Well, they're really bar- they, they actually Are you Adam Brody it. from the movie? Yeah. <laughs> they actually the say it, though. <laughs> they say they don't have clubs or anything. They have yeah. one bar with a jukebox. There's no DJ, no nothing. It's just... What if- what if you're an Australian who's not allowed to watch this movie? Are you going to relate to this? If you're not allowed to watch this movie, I guess you can't relate to it, can you? <laughs> <laughs> but can't no, 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 yes. The movie is very relatable. Uh, I guess if you if you were in this kind of high school with these kind of people at that kind of time. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I'm not familiar with the director's other work. Uh, Karen Kusama. I don't think I've seen anything else she's done. 
Uh, Diablo Cody, I know she did these two, and then she's done nothing of note. And like I said, she's about to ruin a uh, 90s beloved TV show. I think the new cartoon reboot kind of started ruining it already. So yeah. th- what more damage could you do? Well, Those well, well, photos? you know, there's 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 the prequels, which, OK, that ruined it. And then there's Last Jedi, which like, well, you can do a lot more damage anyway. Uh, but sure. <laughs> so this is a great, great time. I had a great time watching this. Yeah. I think you would like it. Uh, this would be good for like... Um, teen girls who want to get into horror. Yeah, I could see that. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, if you have, like, a teen girl who wants to, like, get into horror movies and you want to, like, kind of inch them in, this is, like, a good introductory horror That movie. or Ginger Snaps. It was very, like, Ginger Snaps. <sighs> or and Ginger I Snaps, yeah. I love... I just saw Ginger Snaps for the first time this year and I don't know how. Oh, my God. If I saw that when it came... Like, I I, I loved it. I loved every... You've seen it, right? It. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I have because I know that's where Catherine Can we do Ginger Snaps? I would love to do Ginger Snaps. Well, so on Patreon, one of the exclusive (laughs) contents I want to start producing is Werewolf Wednesdays. (gasps) Oh, okay. So I kind of want to do that. We also want to do Tubi Tuesdays. Because me and Newt were like, me and Newt were like, wow, we kind of miss being able to review whatever we want, but we got to make sure the episode doesn't suck because we need the show to do well. (laughs) So we're thinking like, oh, on Patreon, we can do whatever the hell we want. We don't have to worry about SEO. So we're thinking of doing Werewolf because I'm looking at Dog Soldiers right now and uh, that movie's just screaming to me to review it because I love Dog Soldiers. I think Ginger Snaps would do well though because it's such a great It's such a great movie. Honestly, so I, I'm not even kidding. Like, good. probably one of the best werewolf movies of yes. all time. Whoa. Yes, I will go with that. No, I'm dead serious. Yes. Let's I don't think up. you yes. fully understand. Let's it's back up. so Let's back good. Up. Let's back up. Let's back up. On this channel, I reviewed the greatest werewolf movie of all time, and you have a cameo in that review. A cameo that definitely wasn't meant, for, footage. meant for a rental reviews episode that got cut, and then I just recycled for that. I did Howling 3, The Marsupials. And I legit think that's the best werewolf movie ever made. I've I have a whole review seen on the it. Third one. Oh, it's good. I like Howling. I've never seen the. Th- oh, that, that's another third. reason I want to start the show because I know a lot about the Howling series. So anyway, uh, that was Jennifer's body. Yeah. Uh, and you'll see us soon. Hopefully, do Ginger Snaps. Hopefully, we'll, we'll do Ginger Snaps soon. <laughs> I love Ginger Snaps. <laughs> Thank you both for joining me. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Yes. Thank you and for letting us on your show because we know you're so famous and. Well, well, look. Uh, the Fear and Loathe in the Mighty Ducks episode didn't do that well. So I was like, what's a good idea? Let's let's merge the Legion of Crystal and Johanna Sims and get them on the same episode. You know what you are, to Tony? Dr- what? You know what you are? I'm a, a menace, menace to society. society. <laughs> you are. You know what you are? You're a... He, this, no, it's already done. You're already right in the middle. You're a pumpkin head. <laughs> Starring Lance okay. Henriksen. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm okay with that. Starring Lance Henriksen, who was a, in okay. Jennifer's Bob. Yeah, that's not a... You're a pumpkin. Oh, no. Yeah. We should do trick-or-treat, right. too. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Remember, if you like this, if you want to listen to it again, uh, download the podcast feed, hackthemovies.com. Listen to me and Johanna's podcast, Castilla versus the Pod Monster. Yay. And, uh, yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.